I love thinking about my first date, Archer, because you walk in the front door and it's stained glass and you look up and the ceiling is beautiful. You feel like you're able to be your best self in the classroom and in whatever extracurriculars you're doing. I was blown away by the respect that students show to their teachers. I was blown away by their intelligence and their motivation. I still feel a sense of community after not being here for five years and I still feel the same love that I felt the first day I walked on campus. This is a place where students feel safe, faculty and staff feel empowered. I would say the students feel empowered as well to be themselves and I think that that's rooted in our faith. I think that that's also rooted in our Catholic charism. There is something for everyone here. We offer so many different clubs, sports, and programs. French club, Spanish club, Chinese club, Science Olympiad, Drama club, 23 sports, robotics, both band and choral options. There's too many to think of. In the theater, we've done Aristopia, Adam's Family, Chicago. Chicago was just incredible, the combination of music and dance. The audience erupted into applause, which was magical. So because of our inherently small class sizes, I get a chance to know my students on a much deeper level than I would if I were dealing with a class of 30 to 35 students. Teachers are able to pay attention to every student. We've upgraded our classroom technology to include classroom cameras from which students can actually stream content from home. And we have our one-to-one -one laptop program. All of my teachers were approachable. The principal was approachable. I'm still friends with the teachers who work here now, and I think that, that speaks volumes. Because all of the faculty members are so involved here, we get the opportunity to do extra curriculars, auxiliary programs, exchange trips. Sophomore year, I went to France with a group of maybe 10 students and two teachers. Last year, we went to Carnegie Hall. It's an unmatched experience, and I don't think that I would trade it for anything. The architecture and just how much history is contained within this place. Kind of seeing how the patio has, has made its way into a more modern era on Archmere's campus. It's not just this aesthetic centerpiece, it's also functional. And many students would say that it hosts their favorite events, so things like junior prom, senior prom. Prom is an experience at Archmere, 100%. We have the art show, the fine arts festival, we have the green concert series. So lots of things are featured in that building that really showcase its beauty. When I tell people I went to Archmere and I say, oh, we went back to my high school's campus. We got like a college campus here, which is so nice. Go outside and we could sit on the quad if we wanted to for our freeze, or we could go into the science building if we wanted a change of scenery. We have no shortage of state-of-the-art facilities. Everything from our classrooms to our library to our newly resurfaced turf fields to our performing arts center, students have a wealth of spaces. And so my big takeaway from Archmere that I still carry with me is to make sure that when I am great, that the people around me also feel as though they can be great too. My name is Rob. My name is Principal Theo. My name is Michaelia. Welcome, Welcome to Archmere. I didn't like that line. Let me do that again. <laughs> Welcome to Archmere. Wait, that doesn't, yeah. A-R-C-H-M-E-R-E-A-U-K-S. You make me feel. Sorry, I feel awkward to not look at you guys over there. Oh yes, because we are the best go on. <laughs> Gosh, I'm blanking. Best day, chicken finger day by far. Yay, Thank you. that was great. That was, so that was fun. That was so good. Thanks, guys. Good job,